The last uh, two videos on cooking have been about taking an ingredient. In the first case, it was salmon. And in the second case, it was duck gizzards. And then seeing what you can do to ring the changes so that instead of just eating the same meal over and over and over, you can add potatoes or rice or pasta and also different spices, different vegetables, different ingredients in general and make three very different meals. And in the case of the fish, the meals actually ended up lasting for about six days because the fish pie was a three-day pie and probably would have been better if I'd actually made two different dishes of salmon and potato. But anyway, also the same with the duck gizzards. Do something with them with pasta, something with rice, something with potatoes. So you've got the general idea. I don't need to repeat that with chicken, with pork, with beef. You know how to make a cottage pie with potatoes or a fish pie with potatoes. You know how to make curry. You know how to make pasta sauce. So I'm going to do something different today. I'm going to see how many different ways I can serve a single chicken and my plan is to use the chicken for a whole week. Now, in order to do that, I have to make a choice between roasting or boiling, and there's really no contest. If I roast the chicken, very nice, and I can do a lot of different things with it. I can have roast chicken, I can have chicken sandwiches, I can turn some of it into a curry, and so on and so forth turn the bones into soup. But it's a lot more versatile if you poach the chicken and then you've got some stock to be working with to make soup and sauces and you've got the meat to be making all kinds of things with. So I'm just going to start today and I'm going to continue next week but we're going to start with boiling the chicken and going from there. So let's start the process. So, step one cannot get any simpler than this. The chicken's in the bottom of the pot, cover with water, add parsley and onions, and bring to a slow simmer, and simmer for about one hour. And then we'll have a nice rich broth, which we can be used in all kinds of different ways, and chicken meat, which also can be used in all kinds of different ways. So let's continue this process and then I'll show you what to do next. All right, so 45 minutes are up and time to turn off and let everything cool down. And then as soon as it's cool enough to touch, I'm going to remove the chicken from the broth and then we'll start playing around with the components. So, couldn't be simpler than step one. I've got the chicken out of the stock pot <clears throat> and it's just uh, cooling off now. And if we move over to the stove, we can see 
I've got the stock pot back heating up and I'm going to start working on it. In fact, the first thing I'm going to do, I think, is just put in some pasta or some dumplings and have a quick lunch of dumplings with a little broth. So, couldn't be simpler as a starting point. Just a few dumplings, pork and leek, and I'm going to heat them up and serve them for my lunch, and then I'm going to consider what to do with the rest of the broth and the chicken. So I put the dumplings in a bowl with a little bit of the broth, which was very nice, but I just thought to ring the changes a little bit, I would add some Cambodian spices, make it a little bit sour, just uh, for a change, that's all, that's what's on the spoon. And there's my first dish from the chicken broth. Once you've let the chicken cool a little bit, you can use your fingers to strip the meat from the bones, as I've done here. And you can take the bones over to a new batch of water and start simmering them in there. I'm going to add some onion and some parsley and make another broth. And then from here, I'm probably going to make soup. But I'm also going to think about at least one main dish. My goal here is to make a stock. And I've only got bones, so it's not going to be a particularly rich stock. But I've added an onion, and I've also added the stalks of my parsley doesn't have to be pretty because I'm interested in extracting as much flavor as I can. And you can see I've also got it on a fairly vigorous simmer because I'm not concerned about keeping the meat tender. I just want to get the flavors extracted as much as possible. So from here, I'm going to make several dishes. And of course, I'm going to be making them over the course of many days so I can only show you one or two right now and then I've got a surprise ending. Well in this case I've taken the broth from the second boiling of the bones and I have put it in a smaller pot with some uh, lentils and some green onions and chili peppers and I'm going to add some potatoes and mushrooms and I'm going to make a lentil stew and that will be my first dish from the broth. I'm also going to make cockaliki soup. <laughs> I always make cockaliki soup. I'll show you that in my next image and then we'll get on to my surprise. So here's the uh, lentil stew doing its merry thing. It's got lots of different kinds of mushrooms. I've actually put in a little bit of fermented shrimp paste. Uh, it's called blachan in Javanese. I don't know what it's called in Khmer. Probably something similar. And um, just going to let the lentils cook through and then I'll probably serve it with a little bit of flatbread, not sure yet. Anyway, that's lunch, and now onward and upward. So today's video is a bit of a patchwork because my sister asked me to sing a song that I used to sing with a band a long time ago. It was our concluding song of the night. And I used to sing it with my concertina. Well, I don't have my concertina, so I'm going to have to sing it a cappella. And I'm including it here because it is ostensibly about cooking herbs. <laughs> it's about thyme, which the, is spelled T-H-Y-M-E uh, 
for the cooking herb, but it's also about thyme, T-I-M-E, and rue, which is both a bitter herb and <laughs> a bitter emotion. And it's called the Bonnie Bunch of Thyme. And I'll give you my best rendition without my concertina and the favor that my sister is going to have to do in return is to broadcast this video so that I get some more subscribers. <clears throat> Time, it is a pleasant thing. Time brings all things to your mind. Time with its labors and all of its joys. Oh, time brings all things to an end. Once I had a garden fair, it flourished there both night and day, until there came a fair young maid, and she stole all my bonny time away. Time, it is a pleasant thing. Time brings all things to your mind. Time with its labors and all of its joys. Oh, time brings all things to an end. Now me bonny time's all gone And I cannot plant no new In every place my bonny time grew It's all a running, running rue Time, it is a pleasant thing. Time brings all things to your mind. Time with its labors and all of its joys. Oh, time brings all things to an end. <laughs> and my song also brings this video to an end. If you've liked it, then tell your friends, like and subscribe, and I'll see you on Friday. <laughs>